Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you are dealing with a health challenge, please understand if it is a chronic, long-term, progressive, degenerative type health challenge, it is reversible because it is in the body's nature to reverse, not cure, that's magic. Reversal is not cure. Cure is about the magical remedies. That, that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about out with the bad stuff, in with the good stuff, the body does the rest. If you have questions about how to do that, if you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you read something or heard something about a formulation or ingredient, we welcome your calls. On the bright side at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, please go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website, and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. For you guys looking for a high-end, anti-aging, nutritional skin health product with no preservatives, no fragrances, no fillers, no wax, no water, no emulsifier, no surfactant, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, you want to know about truthtreatments.com. Our retinol 5% gel, truth, treatment, truth Treatments Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Serum. You can begin to change your skin today, just like you can begin to change your body today. You can begin to change the quality of your skin today just by getting on truthtreatments.com and placing your order for Truth Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with acne or hyperpigmentation, that's the way to go. If you want an anti-aging product, go with our Truth Serum for healing, for eczema, for psoriasis, for rashes for uh, healing from burns or pre or post surgery. You want our Truth Omega-6 healing cream and for a nighttime vitamin C product that is delivered in a slow, sustained release fashion, you want our Truth Bomb. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Last we spoke, we were talking about how we want to be paying attention to our soma, our body as a matter of health, perhaps the most important matter uh, aspect of health, paying attention to our soma, paying attention to our body. We've been spending a lot of time talking about the ketogenic diet, and as far as eating behavior goes, remember eating behavior is arguably the single most important aspect, at least physical aspect, of the disease process, or, or the healthy state for that matter. Human beings and domesticated animals like cats and dogs are distinct from wild animals in that we all eat for mental reasons. Cats and dogs and people, probably farm animals too. Any animals that interact with human beings, so-called domesticated animals, bear some of our qualities, good or bad, and one of which is uh, our dogs and cats get depressed and they eat for mental reasons. Human beings eat for mental reasons. We eat for pleasure. We eat for dopamine. Dopamine is our reward chemical. When dopamine levels go up, you think you just won the lottery. You know that feeling you get after you... Uh, if, you, if you're addicted to something, say cigarettes, and uh, you're jonesing for a cigarette, you can't find a cigarette, you're looking all over for a cigarette, you finally get a cigarette. There's a sense of just well-being that you get as soon as you puff on that cigarette. And that's true about any addictive behavior. The completion of a, an addictive drive jacks up dopamine, and we will do anything for dopamine. I was listening to the news this morning. There was some uh, talking head doctor railing about a new so-called designer drug called FLACA. 
Now, flaca is like, it's kind of like bath salts. If you heard of those, bat flaca is becoming popular in South Florida. For some reason, South Florida seems to be where a lot of these things, I don't know why that would be, but South Florida seems to be a place where a lot of these kinds of weird things happen, including designer drugs. Bath salts were really big in South Florida. Now, flaca is big. Flaca is like the bath salts, which, by the way, have nothing to do with baths and have nothing to do with salt. It's just a chemical. Just a, bath salts were just a term that was given to a drug. Uh, to make them legal so you could sell them in gas stations, apparently. In any case, both uh, bath salts and flaca jack up dopamine. Both ba uh, bath salts and flaca are examples of substances that people are willing to do to improve their levels of dopamine, to improve their sense of well-being, despite the pretty horrible effects like seizures and convulsions and wild and involuntary muscle twitches and contractions, not to mention crazy violent behavior, including murder. Earlier this week, a Florida college student allegedly attacked and killed a couple and then finished off the murder by biting the dead man's face and then claiming he had superpowers. The guy's in the hospital now, is allegedly, of course. So, of course, according to this doctor anyway, now we got to make this stuff illegal. Of course, it does sound logical to make this stuff illegal, but in reality, when you make a drug illegal, all you're doing is you're giving the government more power over the individual. It's already an issue. You're creating more criminals. You're creating a larger criminal, ca uh, criminal class. The United States already has more people in jail than any other industrial country in the world. Millions of people are in jail or, or have been in jail in this country, and a lot of them for drugs. And criminalizing drugs doesn't work. As, criminalizing bath salts and flaca isn't going to help because the nature of the chemistry is that these things are easy to tweak. You can take an illegal drug and make a little chemical twist and you make it into a, a legal drug. And now they may even be worse than the preceding one that w has been criminalized. The point is, people are willing to do anything to feel pleasure, to anything to jack up their reward chemistry, anything to jack up dopamine. We're willing to do the craziest things to get our dopamine going. That's why we jump out of uh, airplanes. That's why we bungee jump. Thrill-seeking behavior is a classic example of trying to jack up dopamine. And this is why we eat so much food, particularly calorie-rich food and sugar-rich food, and it's why diets don't work. Because we're looking for the dopamine, not the food. So you try to control the food, but you want the dopamine. So you'll do anything for dopamine, even if you, it's going to cost you a few pounds, or even if it's going to ultimately cost you your health, because we want that pleasure chemistry. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking for the food, we're looking for the dopamine. If human beings are willing to take flaca and, uh, and bath salts that have these unbelievably horrific side effects, including death, they're certainly not going to have a problem cheating on their diet. So if you want to lose weight, you've got to figure out a way to get your pleasure chemistry going. You've got to activate pleasure. It's kind of like what we're, we always talk about, the parasympathetic nervous system. Pleasure isn't exactly parasympathetic, but it's along the same lines. We're looking for peace of mind. We're looking for contentment. We're looking for pleasure. That's why we eat so much. That's why we take drugs. That's why we drink alcohol. You can't make this stuff illegal because we want the pleasure. You got to find a way to get pleasure without the drugs. That's how you handle these kinds of problems, not by putting people in jail. You create a culture where pleasure is built into the society. And there's lots of ways to jack up dopamine and lots of ways to feel pleasure. Just completing a project that you've been procrastinating on. If you've ever had to do something, clean up something, or put something away, or write something, or do a project of some kind, you know how great it feels when you're done, especially if you've been procrastinating for a while and then you finally get it done. It feels awesome. That's dopamine. Gratitude jacks up dopamine. Forgiveness jacks up dopamine. Exercise, body work, massage. All of these are great ways to improve health, improve well-being, improve longevity, fight cancer. They require no cost. And that's what I really, that's what I call the bright side. There's these simple little things we can do to stay healthy. And of course, the ketogenic diet is center stage when it comes to dopamine. And I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will be back right after this. 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24 7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com. You can also purchase products at brightsideben.com. You can products, and you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team by. Uh, Check out our website, brightsideben.com. Also, you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. For those of you interested in a high-quality, tasty, pretty darn inexpensive protein, you want to know about our bone broth protein. Jordan Rubin formulated the product. It's made with the amino acids that are important for building connective tissue, specifically connective tissue. Remember, there's two basic classes of proteins and amino acids. Uh, meat amino acids, at least in form, I should say, there's two basic kinds of meat amino acids. There's the flesh amino acids, the kind most of us get, and then there's the connective tissue amino acids, the stuff that's important for helping prevent wrinkles and build bone. If you've been told you've uh, got osteoporosis, if you're healing or recovering from a surgical procedure, if you're taking a spill and you hurt some bones or ligaments, bone broth protein is an amazing way to make sure your body has the raw materials, in a tasty way, to make sure your body has the raw materials it needs to rebuild connective tissue or to keep connective tissue from breaking down as fast. You can find out all about it at brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. Okay, got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. We're talking about dopamine and the ketogenic diet. Dopamine is what it's all about when it comes to pleasure and it comes to our addictive behaviors and it comes to all the things we do, a lot of the things we do that aren't necessarily so good for us, including eating lots of sugar and lots of calories. Well, guess what? The ketogenic diet is pro-dopamine. It's a pro-dopamine diet. So not only can you lose weight, not only is it important for your heart if you've had a if you have a heart a cardiomyopathy or heart disease, not only is it important for your brain and for movement disorders, but it also increases dopamine. From uh, the journal Neuroscience Letters, June 2014, mice fed ketogenically, i.e., high fat, low carb, produced more dopamine. Particularly, this is very interesting, in the areas of the brain that are associated with movement. Anyone with Parkinson's disease uh, out there listening to this? The ketogenic diet is your ideal Parkinson's disease diet. It's a pro-dopamine diet. It's a brain health diet. Researchers uh, in this article concluded that the, uh, the ketogenic mice produced, quote, significantly, unquote, more dopamine than their control counterparts. The tremendous and well-documented uh, health-promoting effects of the ketogenic diet is based on the fact that we love fat. We get rewarded for eating fat. As much as sugar, we get rewarded. The brain secretes reward chemicals when we eat fat and when we eat sugar. Problem with sugar is it's not detected until we've eaten too much. Fat is, you can't really overeat fat. You're gonna throw up before you overeat fat. I, I, there used to be a show on TV where this guy ate a, a crazy amounts of food. I'm trying to think, man v. food it was called. Man versus food. Just that, that, something twisted about that title right there. Man versus food, as if food is the enemy. Anyway, this guy eats ridiculous amounts of food. You probably know what I'm talking about. Adam Richman, I think his name is. So he eats this crazy amount of food, and the whole show is about can he eat this crazy amount of food. And he can eat enormous amounts of food, and he never gets sick, except one time I saw him try to do milkshakes and ice cream. And sure enough, there's no way he could have done it, and he ended up throwing up. And that's what happens when you eat too much fat. Sugar, you can go crazy on because the, the, we don't detect the sugar until it's too late. With fat, you can't really overeat, especially if you're paying attention to your belly, especially if you're paying attention to your body. And it's this combination of high fat plus eating from the belly rather than the, than the brain, the belly body, belly body complex rather than the mind brain that allows us to maximize the weight loss, anti-seizure, heart health, dopamine producing benefits of the ketogenic diet. The combination of eating high fat and paying attention to when our body says stop. The combination of eating high fat and low calorie essentially. Eating a, a greater proportion of your calories from fat but total calories should be low. And if you pay attention to your body, this is how you do it. That's how you do the ketogenic diet. 
And there's also, of course, supplements. We, we've been talking about a few of them. We, talked, uh, we spent a lot of time actually talking about CLA, conjugated linoleic acid. CLA is a ketogenic support supplement. CLA is renowned for its ability to help people lose weight and build muscle. It's a type of omega-6 fat, a little, a little twisted omega-6 fat and associated with a lot of health benefits. It's pro-ketogenic. One of my all-time favorite fat uh, supporting ketogenic supporting supplements is carnitine and we're gonna spend some time talking about this one because you don't hear a lot about carnitine carnitine the way carnitine works is pretty much the essence of the ketogenic diet the ketogenic diet is a fat burning diet but in order for fat to be burnt it has to be transported or carried into little furnaces little fat burning organelles little fat burning structures that live in a cell some of you have probably heard of these little fat-burning structures because over the last 10 or 15 or 20 years, we've begun to realize that these fat-burning structures play an amazingly important part in the aging process. As these fat-burning structures break down and are not replaced, we age. These little fat-burning structures are responsible for a whole new segment of nutrition and health. They call these little structures mitochondria. Just think mighty, because they are mighty. They are the, the engines that fuel the cell, that produce energy in the cell. And basically, what happens on a, a quantum atomic level, the tiniest level you can imagine, is little tiny, 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 tiny submicroscopic pieces of fat. They're not really fat at this point, but we'll call them fat. They get carried into the mitochondria. And that's where they're burnt. And they're not really burnt. It's actually a quantum form of burning. But for our purposes, we'll say they're burnt. Little pieces of fat are burnt by being transported into the mitochondria. You guys, you've got to picture this in your mind's eye. This is incredible. How can this be? How can this, all of this choreographed and intelligent activity be taking place at these tiny levels? This is mind-boggling. And the whole process depends on the nutrient carnitine. Carnitine is like a skateboard. It's like wheels that get attached to the fat, and the fat gets wheeled into the mitochondria by being attached to, the car to carnitine. That makes carnitine crazy important for fat burning. And because the brain and the heart, and really the whole body for that matter, and ke the ketogenic diet itself depend on this transportation of fat into the mitochondria for their, for their effects, carnitine is a very important pro-ketogenic uh, nutrient, pro-ketogenic pro supplement. And I say supplement because it's a meat uh, amino acid. If you're going to get it from food, you've got to get it from meat. Your body can make it, but if you want to get it into your body, you've got to get it from meat, and a lot of people aren't eating enough meat. Carne means meat, and carnitine is found in meat. And you've got to eat lots of meat, and of course there's all kinds of problems associated with that. So supplementing is the best way to up, uh, uh, upregulate your carnitine or increase your carnitine, increase the amount of carnitine in your body. Carnitine is like an, it's an amino acid. Not really. It's a two amino acids stuck together. It's a hybrid of two amino acids. They call it a di, meaning two, di, di, dipeptide. It's got two peptides, and it's found in a really high, most concentration in the liver, which is the organ that's responsible for doing all this fat stuff. That's why liver disease is such a problem, too, by the way. They call fatty liver disease because the liver is processing fat. And when it starts to break down, the fat starts to build up. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll, we'll be back with more good health information and your phone calls right after this. Back on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. If you have acne or dark spots, if you're dealing with accelerated aging or you want to prevent the aging process, which kicks in woefully early for most of us in terms of skin, you know, your skin begins to break down, many of us anyway, the skin begins to break down in our 20s. Some of us in our late teens, the skin begins to manifest some of the effects of, of the aging process. So if you're in your 20s, late 20s, early 30s, it's not too early to uh, use our Truth Retinol 5% Gel anti-aging 
if you're interested in anti-aging your skin, or of course, if you have uh, any other uh, symptoms of, of uh, skin health issues, including dark spots and acne, truthtreatments.com or Truth Retinol 5% Gel. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products or join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, if you've listened to this program for any length of time or seen me in my presentations, you know that is what I'm here for. That is my mission, is to change the world via understanding the power of nutrition. And I, I do it every day. I do it throughout the day. I travel around the country. I do it on my nickel. I don't charge. And... Uh, and I, I'm happy to say that my presentations and this radio program changed a lot of lives. But I can't do this myself. I need help. If you're interested in helping, and, and plus you're going to get rewarded. It's not just totally altruistic, but you'll get rewarded because you can generate a pretty nice little business doing this. Helping people and making money, which is how we should all make our money. is by helping people. Call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or go to brightsideben.com pharmacistspend.com or criticalhealthnews.com for a one-time $25 fee. You could start a business that changes lives. You can make money and you can change lives too. Okay. Hang on if you're on hold and we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. I want to get to a couple of uh, articles, a couple studies here. This one, this one really caught my attention. British Journal of Dermatology. Rosacea tied to a higher risk of high risk of GI disease, gastrointestinal disease. I've been saying this for years. Rosacea, which is a condition where the skin gets red and inflamed sometimes. Sometimes it'll become oily. You can see little blood vessels. Uh, rosacea is not a skin condition. It's a circulatory condition. And I, every once in a while, too frequently, I see products advertised that are supposedly you rub them on your skin and it gets rid of your rosacea. These are dishonest, mean-spirited not fair, dirty pool products. And sometimes you'll see doctors talking about them. No knock on doctors, but very few of them know anything about the skin, and that includes dermatologists. I'm not saying none of them, but very few of them. Which is why you'll see doctors talking about rosacea creams. Rosacea is a circulatory issue, as I've been saying for years. And when you have a circulatory issue, a blood issue, lymph issue, you've got a digestive issue. Unless you're an IV drug user, that's pretty much the only way you're going to have a circulatory problem. And guess what? Rosacea is tied to a higher risk of GI diseases. Rosacea is associated, this is a quote here, uh, from, uh, who's this from? Dr. Alexander Egeberg, MD, PhD, from the Herlev and Getoft Hospital in Hellerup, Denmark. I think I said that right. Quote, rosacea is associated with certain gastrointestinal diseases, but the possible pathogenic link is unknown, unquote. Well, how else is it going to, it's got to be food. How else does stuff get into the digestive system? It's food and it's uh, gut bacteria. How do you know? Try it. If you have rosacea, fast for a couple of days, and I'm guaranteeing you your symptoms will resolve. Then do a food diary, eat your favorite foods, and wait for your symptoms to flare up. And what you'll notice is certain foods will trigger your rosacea. Also make sure you're on the ultimate nightly essence. They can call that the ultimate anti-rosacea essence. That's how powerful the link between probiotic, good bacteria, and uh, skin health and rosacea in particular are. Ultimate nightly essence, of course, apple cider vinegar, fiber, anything you do to support digestive health. All right, from uh, UCLA Semmel Institute of Neuroscience and Human Behavior, diet and exercise reduce protein buildups linked to Alzheimer's. Ah, oh, where did you hear that before? They want to vaccinate you against these protein buildups. That's, that's how the drug companies are, uh, the drug company approach. They want to vaccinate you against protein buildups. They want to come up with drugs that stop the body for, uh, stop the brain from building up protein. When it's the diet and the sugar and the inflammation that's causing the protein buildup in the first place. Do you know there's a disease called amyloidosis? Amyloidosis is a, a disease where you get these amyloid plaques forming in your joints and various parts of your body. They call it amylido amyloidosis. And do you know that Alzheimer's disease, if you talk to some genius Alzheimer's disease researcher, they'll tell you, oh, well, it's amyloid plaques in the brain. It's amyloidosis. It's the same thing. Amyloid plaques and fibers and tangles are one of the ways the body deals with inflammation. Alzheimer's is an inflammatory issue. All chronic degenerative diseases are inflammatory issues. Thus, it should be no surprise except uh, for the geniuses at UCLA Semmel Institute of Neuros for Neuroscience, 
that diet and exercise can reduce these protein buildups. If you have Alzheimer's or you want to prevent Alzheimer's, change the way you eat and start working out. Get on a supplement program. Use the ketogenic diet. Doctors will tell you there's no drugs for Alzheimer's disease. I'm telling you, you don't need drugs. Diet, exercise, coconut oil, ketogenic diet, listen to the bright side because everything we talk about on this program will help you if you're dealing with dementia or any brain health problems or any health problems for them, any chronic long-term degenerative health problems. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Good morning, Kathleen in Boston. How are you doing? I'm at home, Ben. How are you today? I'm doing good. What's it like in Boston? Is it muggy and no, 88 actually, degrees? No, actually, it's beautiful. We've do- been it? dealing with a couple of 100-degree days that have finally cleared out, and it's beautiful. It must be here. brutal when it's 100 degrees in Boston. I can only imagine. Yeah, in town, it's pretty bad. So what's going on? How can we help you? Well, yesterday I was going out to buy some supplements, and uh, I was getting magnesium. And I saw something called chelated magnesium. I didn't know okay. if that would be better or is it better absorbed. Yeah. I was Chelation... Chelation is a trick for helping magnesium get absorbed. It's, uh, chelation is a trick for helping all minerals and actually some other things get absorbed. The chelation process, chelate means claw. The chelation process is a way of surrounding something that is ordinarily difficult for the body to absorb with something that is easy for the body to absorb. So the difficult thing kind of sneaks in. Does that make sense? Yeah, so it, it would be better to get the chelated magnesium, yes, do you think? Yes, okay. the chelated form is, is a better form than the, than the inorganic form, uh, which is something like magnesium oxide or magnesium carbonate. Those are stone okay. forms of magnesium. They're much more tricky for the body to absorb than, say, magnesium glycinate, which is a chelated form. So, yes, I would always go with the chelated forms. Colloidal and plant-derived are always the best. Uh, and liquids, but next best is probably the chelated. I, I would absolutely look for chelated. In fact, I, I don't even waste my money on, on the oxides and the carbonates and those kinds of things. I always go for the chelated minerals. And okay. it always helps, by the way, to take your magnesium with food, and it always helps to take your magnesium with fatty food, and it always helps to take your magnesium with bile salts and lipase and pancreatic enzymes and things that help your body support Uh, that helps support the body's ability to absorb fats. Magnesium is absorbed through the intestine and also via via fat metabolizing uh, aids, if you will. Uh, Things like bile salts, apple cider vinegar, pepsin HCL, betaine hydrochloride, your ultimate enzymes. Hey, I got to go, Kathleen. Does that help? Uh, Yes, but I have one more question. Okay, why don't you hang on? Hang on through the break, okay? We'll get you when we come back. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Got lines open at 844-236-6010. We'll take a quick break and come back right after this. There. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. I am Pharmacist Ben, and we're talking to Kathleen in Boston about magnesium. And what else, Kathleen? Well, the other question I had were, what, what's your thoughts about supplements that are made primarily with yeast? No supplements are. You mean with yeast or that contain yeast? I, I don't know. I, just that be specific yeast. here. When I look at the ingredients, they have yeast products on it. Uh, yeast are part of nature. I, you're, you're thinking of like candida and fungus in the body. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Here's the deal. Yeast are incredibly, incredibly. Uh, ubiquitous. They're everywhere. You're not going to keep yeast out of anything, and the body needs yeast. In fact, some of the digestive system processes things with yeast, and yeast in the form of nutritional yeast and brewer's yeast are some of the most amazing, powerful nutritional supplements you could ever take. Do not confuse that kind of... Don't confuse your yeasts, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, when, When people think of yeast, they think of yeast infections, whether they're vaginal yeast infections or systemic yeast. Yeast infections inside the body, particularly candida. However, there's zillions of different kinds of yeasts, and there are, many of them are an important part of health, and many of them, not many of them, but a couple of them in particular, brewers and nutritional, are a very, very, very powerful sources of nutrition. You know, when you eat yeast, you're eating a living substance, and a yeast is not, e- yeast is not yeast, but it's yeast cells. So when you eat nutritional yeast, what you're eating is a yeast cell, and when you eat a cell, whether it's an egg cell, which is what an egg is, or a yeast cell, which is what a yeast cell is, you're eating every single thing you need to build your cells. 
eating cells builds your cells and there's no it's very difficult to find foods that are intact cells and so when you do yeast you've got a golden opportunity and when you use nutritional yeast that is you've got a golden opportunity to eat a living cell that means get all the fats and all the minerals and all the vitamins all the things that are found in a cell and that makes nutritional yeast gram for gram arguably the most powerful food on the planet and there's other cells too cell, cellular foods algaes and eggs in particular but but that makes yeast yeast super duper 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 powerful medicines or nutritional medicines in my opinion so if you see yeast on a on an ingredient deck i'd have to have some more specifics nobody will just say yeast it'll have some kind of descriptive yeast whether it's nutritional yeast or brewer's yeast or something like that is that helpful yes it was thank you very much i appreciate it thank you kathleen have a great day in boston good to talk to you okay 844-236-6010 is our number got lines open for you let's see uh oh here's a good one well let's save this one for Say this one for Monday, actually. Let's go to the phones. Uh, Spanky in Florida. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm doing um, good. What's got going a, on? Got a couple, got a couple questions. Um, uh, can you tell me uh, anything about curcumin? And yes. And can you take that with supplementation? Or Heck inter- yes. Or- and interfere with anything no it's um, awesome stuff it's a it, you know i used to call aloe the king of herbs but over the last few years i i have to say turmeric which contains curcumin curcumin as they say is uh f- if it's not replacing aloe as the king of herbs it's pretty close it's an amazing 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 uh, spice turmeric is it's part of the ginger family and the curcuminoids which are the active ingredients well, curcumin being the the most important one, uh, are unbelievably important for health. I use, I use turmeric every day. I just put it in water and drink it. It doesn't go into water very well, but some of it does. Put it in hot water, and it tastes a little weird. Put a little honey in there, maybe some lemon juice. I use honey. Uh, and uh, it's amazing stuff, absolutely amazing stuff. You can use it on top of your skin for, as a sun protectant. It's great for the colon. It's just amazing, amazing stuff. What were you, did you have a specific question? Well, yeah, that, that's like I said, like I told you when I spoke to you before, that I always read, and I was reading on it and the stuff that it can do, you know, yeah. for cancer, irritable bowel, yeah. prostate. I mean, yeah. I'm just reading all it's amazing, stuff, right? the studies that they've done. Oh, man, I'm like, are you kidding me? I know, so, exactly. I know just what you and, mean. Uh, <laughs> And That's what uh, I thought when I read when I started reading about it a few years ago. I was like exactly like that. I was like, "Are you kidding me? One one plant, one uh, spice, or one phytonutrient does all of these things? It's, it really is amazing oh, yeah. stuff." Do you, do you use it? Oh yeah, well yeah, I started using it um, about two weeks ago. Okay. And um, uh, because one of the other well, a couple of the other questions that I was wanting to ask you was <clears throat> about fasting um, as far as should when you fast because i try to i try to fast at least one day a week i guess you would consider that intermittent yeah, fasting. that's awesome get, don't do the same day my, mix mix up the days but yeah that's awesome oh okay okay because like i say you know i mean you want to give i think you know you want to give your body a break absolutely and, um absolutely and the uh the other thing um i was wanting to ask was about skin cancer Okay. Uh, as far as like melanoma, basal cell, squamous okay. cell, and stuff like that. Right. Um, uh, when I when I talk to, uh, I, I guess you'd say derm- my dermatologist and stuff. You know, when I speak to them, you know, I, I look at them. I say, well, you know what, you know what, you know what this is. I said it's cell disease because all disease is cell disease. And they look at me. Like, Are you serious? Oh, you're, you're you're right. It is. And I said, well, let's. Said, so they I'm must think you're. They must think you're. You're like a nutritional or a health savant or something, right? When you say uh, that, I, I, I don't know what the deal is, but I, that's awesome. But I tell them, I said I want to be proactive, not reactive, and I said that's I want good. to find out what's causing my cell to freak out. That's and awesome, said, Spanky. You know, because I said, you know, don't get me wrong, doctor means teacher. You know, they I can learn from them, but I think they can learn from me also. Abs- but, absolutely. Uh, because they're not trained to, you know why doctors aren't trained to look, think about all disease being cell disease? Because doctors are not allowed at the level of a cell. All, a, all the medical model can do to a cell is kill it, remove it, or radiate it. In other words, they can, they can give it a drug, or, or, or poison it, I should say, remove it or radiate it. 
That's the, basically what they do. They give it a drug to poison it. They'll take it out through surgical procedure or they'll x-ray it. But they can't feed it. They can't breathe it. They can't give a cell what it wants to, so they, don't, they ignore it. They, they don't even think about it because they can't do anything there. But the thing is, we can do it. If we recognize that nobody has lung cancer, they've got lung cancer, lung cell cancer, and nobody has an irritable bowel syndrome, they have uh, irritable bowel cell syndrome, and nobody has arthritis, they've got joint cell disease, nobody has Alzheimer's disease, they've got brain cell disease. When we understand that, we'll start to address the cell, and we'll see how stupid it is to try to get the body better by poisoning the cell, or radiating the cell, or removing the cell. It, it's idiotic once you recognize, like you say, Spanky, that all disease is cell disease. And then the question becomes is, how do I take care of the cell? Well, you feed it, you breathe it, and you give it a clean place, a clean place to do its work. That means de de right. detoxify and eliminate toxins, and sugar is a toxin. It really is that simple. Good job, ma'am. Uh, uh, have a listen other, to the bright side. Can I, there. Say, can I tell you one other thing? Uh, yes, I yes. guess it's a, um, a um, um, success story, or I'm, I'm, I don't remember what y'all call it. But Absolutely, uh, I want to hear success stories. I see my daughter stories. back in May, and, um, you know, and they did my blood work, and we sat down, and he looked at me, and he's like, dude, your numbers are almost non-existent. I said, huh? He said, everything is excellent. I can't believe it. He said, TSA, wow. almost non-existent. How old are you? Okay. How old are you, Spanky? Uh, 55. And they're not used to seeing that. And yeah, that, that's basically what he said. And he's like, I said, well, can I tell you what I'm doing? I'll show you what I'm doing. And I brought in that Tangy Tangerine, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. Yeah. He looked at that. He looked right at me and said, I would take this. That's awesome. Good job, Spanky. You should sign him up. Are you doing the business? No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I tell people about it. I mean, I tell people at work and stuff because, yeah. uh, like I say, some some of us, we do train and stuff like that. What do you do? What kind of work do you do? What kind of work do you do? Uh, I, uh, I find packages at home. <laughs> and you work for UPS I, or the uh, post office or what? I, I, work for, I work for Buster Brown. I work for UPS. UPS, Buster Brown. All right, yeah. good deal. Well, yeah. I'm glad you called. Sounds yeah. like you know what you're doing there, Spanky. Keep up the good work, man. And spread the word. I sure do appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I sure do appreciate everything you do. I appreciate you appreciating me. Are you are you listening at work, by the way? Uh, yes, sir. Um, um, I'm listening on a hands, hands-free device. I love it. And so you're actually working right now and while you're getting, getting yes. health educated. That's awesome, Spanky. Good job. And, and you're in South Florida or North Florida? Uh, North Florida. Okay, good deal. Well, I'm very impressed. Good job, man. Good to talk to you. Have a great day. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. All right, man. That's awesome. I love my smart listeners. If you're listening to this program, you are one of the smart folks. This isn't a program for the average Joe. This is a program where we dig deep. Love it. And I know it's, that's awesome. Good job, Spanky. All right, that's all the time we have for today. We'll continue talking ketogenic diet and carnitine on our next program. We'll talk about this really, really underappreciated uh, supplement, dipeptide, amino acid, especially if you're dealing with brain health issues or heart health issues. And we'll talk about that and continue talking about the ketogenic diet on the bright side when we come back uh, on our next program. Please check out my website, truthtreatments.com. Check out our Truth Skin Health products. I'm pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves an awesome some beautiful, spectacular, wonderful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.